Before departing, I use my lyre to lure a dove into my reach. Oh. That's it. That's it, pretty thing. Hold still. Yes. <laughs> then we set out. We rode for several more days, until at last we came upon the place Phineas had warned us about, the Simplicides, or the Clashing Rocks. Jason! We cannot get any closer without being caught by the swell! Well, well, Tiffus! Orpheus, do you have the dove? Right here. I would have named her, but I feared becoming too attached. The rocks are parting! Now, Orpheus, release the dove! As if shot from a bow, the dove bolted off toward the Simplicides, which drew apart in preparation for another tremendous crash. While the entire crew watched, the little dove fluttered madly through the space between the rocks as that space grew, then shrank again, and finally... Where is it? What happened? Can anyone see? Yes. Yes, it's there. Wounded, perhaps, but still flying. Back to your stations, then, men, and row. Row with all your might. Row! The Argo sped forward as it had never sped before, not even with the mighty Heracles propelling it. We pushed and strained against the terrible current. The rocks parted, then began to come together once again. We felt the Argo rising as the waters between the rocks were pressed together. And then... We... we made it! 